Hello guys and welcome back to the next episode of Another Brick in the Mall with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. We worked on iBiffa here the other day. Let's have a look. iBiffa, the electronic store. It's going so well. We're making so much money from that research that we did here. The electronic supplier. That what I think I'm going to do is extend this and make this an electronic store as well. And just have like TVs in this one because... This is, this is going so well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off by... Uh, let's put in some flooring. Let's have a look. Where's the flooring? Where's the flooring? Floor tiles. I'm blind. Um, I think we're going to go for the red again. I quite like the, the look of the red. There we go. Fits in well. Uh, let's go for some objects. We want some of these tables again. And we're going to sort of mirror the one above. I think this place is one block bigger. It is. So... What I think we're going to do is we're going to do it like this. And then we're going to have our checkout at the bottom. Instead. Checkout counter. Like that. That's not going to work, is it? In fact, if we do that. And then we'll change. Remove objects. Remove walls and objects. Yeah, remove that. Please. Please. There we go. Removed. And do that, that'll be good. Then we're going to have TVs, let's speed this up a bit, on all of these. And then we'll change these to be other things. Now that, do you see how, watch, watch the people when they come in. Let's slow this down a bit. So watch her, this one here. There we go, she jumps up and down. Look at their eyes. Look, so she's found what she wants. That's what that is. I was thinking, she's a former builder and she's a glutton. But she's a camera enthusiast, excellent. There we go, he's done it as well. So they found what they want to buy. And then they're very excited and they jump up and down. That's that's what's going on there. Um, we need to assign this as a store. Let's do that. There we go. Let us rename this store. What are we going to call this one? This is going to be Just TVs. So let's call this one Just TVs. Done. Thank you for whizzing me over there. Uh, we need a cashier. Uh, who's the best one? Everybody's rubbish. So it's going to be Brendan. You were fired, but I'm going to get you back. You're pretty quick. So let's have you. Let's have a stock clerk. You're good as a janitor and a cook as well. Uh, you're, you look good to me. Let's have you. Let's assign stories. We can have that one as well. So hopefully that will work okay. We can open that to six. And then let's check our cashier. Yeah, that covers that. So let's just put a load of TVs in here. Uh, and let's see how this goes. TVs. 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 And for this one, we're going to go for TVs. And maybe we'll have more TVs there. And then these here. I'm wondering whether there's a way of, t of telling... What we're selling the most on. Look at the profit in this thing here. It's amazing. I bet that's four o'clock. Not enough people in Biffy Mart. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. You can't... Oh, products. Oh, we can actually tell. Right. Um, fullness, 50%. Cost price, profit. So it doesn't actually give us a figure... So the things that give us the most profit are actually laptop computers. So I'm going to fill these with laptop computers. And that one there. That won't change until my guy comes back in again. That's going to stock these two shops. It doesn't seem to be... Profit margin 160%. Oh, 200% MP3 players. I was actually looking at the amount here, but that one, 200%, 200, 160 so it actually looks like game consoles, smartphones, tablets, MP3 players are better. But anyway, we're going to have laptops on there. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a way to actually see how many of a particular project, product we've sold. Unless I'm missing it. So we can then particularly pick... Oh, movies, fast food. Okay. So I can then particularly pick that product. Does that make sense? So if it... If it Oh, we've got trash over here. So if... Oh, okay. Um, 
just got the one janitor. Maybe we may need another... Or do we have two janitors? I'm not entirely sure. Um, manage store staff. Cashier, stock clerk. Manage. I'm suddenly forgetting where particularly to go. Statistics, finance, research, needs, menu, no. To hire my janitors. We've got, we've, we do have janitors, I've seen them. Maintenance centre, staff, here we go. We do have two janitors. That one starts early, that one starts late. Let's see how it goes before we start hiring more people. That's going to cost us money. But yeah, if there was a way particularly to tell which products were we were making the most money from, let's speed that up. Then I'd obviously do something about that. Right, let's see how this is going here. Things are getting busy, aren't they? I think we maybe need to add more checkout. I don't know why this... I'm wondering whether, because this isn't open very late, that we're missing, like, the lunch crowd or something. Because it's... Let's have a look at this. So, this is open at the moment. Nine till six. If we opened earlier and went, say, six till... Oh, it's suddenly open. Six till eleven. Six till ten. And I reckon we probably we couldn't afford to do some stuff in here. I reckon that'll probably get like the breakfast and the lunch sort of things going on. Let's see whether that's true. I don't know. I mean, this, we're experimenting here. We're learning. So I'm going to put this checkout back in. Uh, I also want that piece of floor back in as well that's missing, um, which is this one. Yeah, let's fill that in. Good. Thank you. We want to make sure we've got enough people to cover. So let's get another cashier. Uh, Kramer. Let's have you back. So one of you is going to be starting early. You're going to start at 6 o'clock. And you are going to start at... Well, I want you to cover right to the end of the day. You're going to start at 1. So I'm assuming there is going to be some overlap there. Uh, you are going to start at 6 o'clock. And we're going to have another cook. Who's a good cook? Oh, you are a very good cook. Noah Benjamin. And you are going to start at... One, so that should overlap and cover that end of the day. So let's see how that goes. What's the time? It's coming up for six o'clock and see whether we start getting some more people in. Uh, I want to change that flooring there as well. Let's put that in. There we go. Get rid of that. Um, yeah, actually, no, let's go back with that. Yeah, that's fine. 4 4 check and see whether that makes a difference. Has this been stocked up yet? What time does my cashier, uh, my stock guy, get in here? Stock clerk. Oh, he gets in at 7. Okay, it's nearly 7. Hopefully, he'll be able to work on those. Let's speed things up a bit. So it's all quiet. Right, the food is open. It's 6 o'clock. Let's see. So, oh, we've got the trash guy come in. Day 23. So you're going to come and start doing some cooking. Good. It's 7 o'clock. So now we're going to get... There we go. Who's that there? Let's see. Is that our... Fetching stock, stock clerk. Excellent. So they actually do choose a good place to to park as well. We probably could also do with another delivery zone over here. Because at the minute, that's going from all the way over there. Let's do a closer one. Uh, road work. Loading zone. Yeah, let's go up there. We're going to have parking along here anyway, in fact. Let's do that. I don't know what... Oh, I see. You can't get one in the corner. That makes sense. Let's get some more parking in. What are we next going for? Selling another seven products to get another 10,000. Make 5,000 total sales. We'll get another load of money. Have 100 customers on site. That'll be a good one. Okay, so she's still filling up the stock down here by the look of it. Yeah, who are you then? Let's just slow this down a minute. We've got two stock clerks working in here. Fetching stock, fetching stock. Emma Cross. So who's the other stock clerk? You. Going home. Old delivery person, okay. Oh, no, it's this one here. 
Oh, it's for this store, isn't it? Of course, yeah, we've got stock clerk, different ones. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming these are both exactly the same store, but they're not. Not many people in here buying TVs yet. Who's this guy? Is he coming to have a look? Looking for TV sets. Is he going to find one? He is. He's managed to fit it into his basket. Must be a small TV set. Oh, man. We are filling up nicely. Still not much going on with the food. It's coming up for lunch. So let's see what happens. I'm wondering why. Whether there's some odd little weird thing that needs to be changed. I don't know. To, um, to get that to work. To get people to come and eat. No, let's not do that. Let's um, assign this. Oh, fast food restaurant. There we go. Let's assign this section here as well. Can they let me? If I go all the way over like that. No, okay. Is it? I wonder whether because they won't cross over there or something. Store... No, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. But no, we never seem to get any customers in here. If you've got an idea why, I mean, we're stocked up on food. Yep. Stocked up on food. We have food in there. What about pricing? You can't change pricing on the food by the look of it. No. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what we're missing here. What does it say? Let's go back to a sign. So we need access. Well, we've got... Please stop doing that. We've got a way in here. And we've got a way in here. Uh, cashiers, we have two. Stock clerks. Let's check. Pretty sure we have. Cashier, cook, stock clerks. Yeah, we've got all of those. Uh, where is it? This one here. Stock clerks, fast food cooking ranges, order counters, soda dispensers. Ah, so we've got cooking ranges, order counter, food warmer. Oh, fast food soda dispenser. Yeah, okay, we've got that. Yeah. I don't think we'd missed anything. Fast food warmers, yet cooks and storage. And we've got assigned storage, reassigned storage. Yep. Hmm. I don't know. If you're the developer of this game and you're watching this episode, what am I doing wrong? People can get in. What's that? Queues at 12.55. The Biffy Marts. Oh, okay. It's getting busier. I don't know why that's happening. I don't know. I don't know. So please let me know. Oh, we're running out of stock here. Look. Which isn't good. Hmm, so how was profits? Not so great. So how's profits on this one? Fantastic. I'm wondering whether we should just maybe mix this up a bit with some other stuff. Because all we've got is TVs. Whereas we know tablets and smartphones, game consoles. I'm maybe going to put some more. We've got a lot of laptops. MP3s, cameras... Tablets and smartphones, yeah. I'm going to mix mix and match a bit here. Let's get some tablets and smartphones. And we'll change this one to... What's another one that's a lot good markup? Cameras? Yeah, cameras. Let's change that one for camera. Let's speed that up. Those guys will come in and do that. We need to sort out the checkout problem over here. I'm wondering whether we should reassign a whole load of checkouts. Normally how it works is you have all the checkouts in a row in one place. Well, we, we've sort of ended up... I'm wondering whether just to reassign this shop here, have this as like our entrance to the mall and start having other shops around. So this can be like a big corridor around the parking area. So we could, we could even build another purpose-built shop uh, foundations over here that will be a brand new food store. We don't have enough money. Oh, we've got to be careful here. We're going to spend a ton of money. 
and it could be all food down the back and all checkouts like that. What do we reckon? I mean, that's going to be a heck of a lot of money to make and to move. 72. I don't know whether we want to do that straight away. Whether we want to just expand this and add another checkout in. Or another cashier. Let's just have a quick look and see what time of day causes the problem. Let's... Let's see. Also, I want to remove... Oh, no. There we go. Mm, let's try and assign that again as this store. I reckon that's what's causing the problem, you know. Something's going on here. And people just don't want to come in. I'm wondering whether, if we stuck a wall there and a door in it... I'm, I'm watching this as well. Okay, look, 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 let's just slow down. So it's coming to 7 o'clock. We need another cashier at that time of day. Look, it's filling up. So f from about 6 o'clock. So let's, let's sort that first. So staff, another cashier. Yep. And you were going to start at... 4 o'clock. Okay, that might solve that problem. Let's put in a wall. It's that spot there, isn't it? Yeah, let's put in a wall there. Close that off. Let's put in my floor tiles, this one here. Finish that off. And then let us speed that up. And then let's put a door in there. Probably going to remove those two things. Let's do that. Uh, objects, remove, let's remove that and that so people can get in and out. And also, we might as well have something in here. We might as well sell something. Um, what gives us the most profit? Let's have a quick look 200%, 200 200%, 200. Everything's 200% markup. So basically, we can just grab whatever we like. Oh, we have other things. Oh, I didn't realise we've got other things we could put in here. Do we have anything that's doubled up? What can we add in this one? Beer. Okay, what can we have in this one? Fresh meat. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, What do we have two of? Slice paper, bottle of water, toilet paper, breakfast, of coffee and tea, soda, snacks, juices, rice, pasta, diapers, milk, dairy, beer. I don't think we do, do we? Actually, we can easily see this way. One, 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 one. We need one more for wine. Okay, let's stick another food shelf in somewhere. I don't think it's going to get in the way of the door if we stick it there. Here you come. Thank you for building that. And then we'll add wine into that one. And then we've just got some of everything, haven't we? Excellent. What's that going to tell me? Oh, we've finished our research. Nice. Okay. Uh, media supply. I'm thinking of appliance, tools, luxury. Jewelry. Ooh. I think we're going to go for appliance first. Let's go for that one first. And see how we go with that. Because we can have something like over here, sort of having media, having TVs, having appliances, tools, that sort of thing. And then we can expand this to have food out here. I think that'll be good. So hopefully... Okay, let's see. Let's, let's observe and see what happens. Whether now people will come into here. Things are assigned nicely. There's no sections where people can't cross over because it's not assigned. Shelves are being filled up. Nice. That's not open yet. There we go. That's open as well. I'm loving this game. I really am. I'm enjoying this. As we're growing it and building it and expanding it. Okay, you're cooking. Which is filling things up nicely. Is there any other sort of chair that we could put in here that people might want to... A dinner table. Let's add one of those in. People might want to eat dinner. And a food court table. Just to see whether... And we've got restaurant tables, haven't we? 
just to see whether people come and use those instead. So I'm wondering whether food court will be sort of any time of the day people will come and eat on those. A diner table, they come and eat dinner. Restaurant table, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's keep an eye on this. It's the busy part of the day is coming up. Oh, look. We just missed out on getting our cashier in early enough. 401. He's angry. So maybe we will move one of these back to three. Hopefully that would then solve that. Look, still nothing here. Uh -huh. Please come and eat in my... Oh, that was closed for the day. Okay. Please come and eat in the... What did I call it? Defeats? It's sad. Nobody wants the food and I don't know why. Okay. That's the... Research is coming good on that. So we're going to get another 10 grand once we build another store that's going to go here. And we could have doors that go into each one as well. Look like this. So it's sort of, yeah, I like that. Let's build foundations. Let's go, so how long is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, there we go, like that. <laughs> I think that was right. Uh, let's add the road in. I oh, can't do it until we've built that one. Let's get that going. That looks slightly too big. I may end up rearranging some of these. I think we need to make this bigger as well. We need to... Let's just slow things down a touch. Let's remove walls here. That. Then we need to get foundations in here. Let's get you going and make this a bigger stock room. Uh, storage. Once that's done, let's speed things up. Don't disappear. There's things to be done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cokey Biffer. He's going home. How many sales are we making? Loads of sales. Oh, everybody's happy as well. Look at this. Nice. Customer satisfaction is going up. Okay, they're building all the other things. Still no people eating? Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, here they come. Almost done. I want to sign this as my number eight storage. Make it nice and big. Because that's going to work for all of these. Excellent. Nice. There we go. And I bet we're going to... Oh. Hey. Eh? What did I build there? That is not wanted, what I wanted to build there. Road work. Oh, it was selected on customer parking, wasn't it? Darn it. Okay, well, there we go. Let's do that and we'll put some more customer parking down here instead. Excellent. Oh, we're making so much money. I'm so pleased. How's our research? We, we must be getting there. 56 hours left. Okay, maybe not just yet. But we have the store. So let's put in here. Uh, we're going to go for the red carpet again. I'm liking this red carpet look for these ones. Let's do that. Let's put in... Let's put in our table. Shame there's not any other colour tables in here. And also... Shame we can't put the checkouts the other way around. I'd like to flip that. But there doesn't seem to be any any keys for flipping. Uh, game. You know, there's nothing to change the keys. So, unfortunately... Actually, let's remove that one. There we go. Uh, and let's build... Let's put that checkout there. Just so we can make use of the space, really. Uh, where are we going to have the door coming in? Uh, let's put these in first. We're really filling up this one. There we go. 
Let's cancel those ones in the middle. Yeah, that's good. Around the outside. And then we need a door. That's good. That lines up nicely. A double door there. I think a double door coming off the road as well. So they can come in and leave. There we go. Hopefully not croaking as much. Excellent. They're building that. So what we're going to name... Oh, we can't put anything in here yet, can we? So... But we're going to assign that as a store. There we go. So then we can at least assign the storage, which is going to be that one. Uh, we want a stock clerk, because I can't, unfortunately, oh, there we go. The stock clerks don't overlap. I think it would be better if you had stock clerks here and assigned them to a store, because one stock clerk in the time that they work, I reckon... Uh, I know it's a bit early to hire this person, but Anthony Hubbard, you're in. Uh, you're going to go 9 till 6, and you're covering that. Excellent. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's a game design choice, isn't it, to do it that way round. But I reckon one, one or two stock clerks could easily cover a big air, a bigger area. Oh, let's, that road's not done well. Let's add that in. There we go. Oh, my restaurant. I don't know. I'm so annoyed it doesn't work. I wonder whether it's going to be something something small. It's going to be something... Something little. And... And we're going to suddenly change it and everything's going to work. And I don't know what it is. No profit margin at all. It's nuts, isn't it? And there's nothing we can do on these to change them. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what have we got here? Queue's full at four again. Oh, man. We need to bring somebody else back a bit earlier on the staff. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'm going to make you go a bit later instead. And hopefully tackle it from that angle instead. Okay, well, I think we're going to be waiting for this till next time, our appliances. We'll be getting there, we're expanding, we're hopefully solving problems, but I don't know what the problem is here. We need to try and find out what that is. So let me know in the comments below if you think you know what the problem is with our fast food restaurant. We're covering everything that we need. We've got staff, we've got storage, we've got all the different things that we need on here. So I don't know what it is. Um, at some point, we're going to get a movie theatre. I'm thinking of having like a multiplex screen theatre. Maybe down here. Maybe we'll have the road come down this way and build it in here. I think that'll be a good idea. That might be the next thing that we try and unlock, the cinema, after we've got our appliance centre. Yeah, well, I think we'll go for that. I don't know what we get in the next road networks. Connections to additional road entrances. Ah, so we can get even more people coming in. That could be interesting, definitely. Right, guys, there we go. Don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button that's been on the screen now for a few seconds. And I will see you guys very soon for the next episode of Another Brick in the Mall. Take care. Bye-bye.